Welcome to the project demonstration of underground cable fault detection and alerting system by using PIC microcontroller. So here the main application of this project is whenever we are transmitting the power from one location to another location. So if is there any uh, like fault occurred when we are transmitting that power through underground cables. So here we are going to identify that line to line faults. So whenever the line to line fault occurred then it's not easy to identify the location. So based on the resistance principle means voltage drop principle we are going to estimate the approximate distance. So here considering that we are transmitting the uh, this from three phases from this end and we are receiving at this end. So here the system will measure the voltage levels. So if is there any short circuit occurred line to line fault. So here we place the three locations 10, 20, 30 kilometers. In real time, we are not going to place any switches. Directly, we are transmitting the 230 volts. That is a phase to neutral, phase to phase 440 volts. So we are transmitting that power through these cables directly at this end. So consider this is going to be the 30 kilometers of distance assumption only. So if any uh, short circuit occurred, so as we know that, for example, here the short circuit occurred. So from uh, transmitting to this location and from here to the receiving location there will be a uh, uh, length of the wire L1 and L2 as you know that resistance is uh, proportional to the length of the wire so if the length increases then parallelly resistance also increases so when the resistance increases the voltage drop also increases right so whenever the shot occurred the microcontroller will get some drop voltage instead of getting the input voltage. So here our microcontroller can't measure the AC voltage directly. That's why we are using a transformer to step down that. So for we are demonstrating with only single phase. So we are converting the single phase to three phases. How nothing but 230 volts AC input to this transformer. So which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC. Okay. And then we need to convert that into the DC with the help of this regulated power supply board. So it has a three stages rectification to convert AC to pulsating DC, filtration to remove the pulses to get the pure DC voltage and regulation to get 5 volts constant DC output as the operating voltage of our microcontroller and LCD are the 5 volts only. So when we are transmitting that 5 volts as dividing that into the three phase voltages through this so called cables. So we can't place the lengthy cables right. That's why we are placing a resistors. 10 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm resistors. So that 10 kilo ohm resistance here in this project representing as a 10 kilometers. So from here to if any fault occurred, so then the system will measure the drop voltage. If for example, we will get the round of V2 volt, V1 voltage. Okay, so then it will consider as a the fault was occurred from 0 to 10 kilometers. If it is more than that, 10 to 20 kilometers, again in 30 kilometers. Like that, we are going to assuming the distance based on the drop voltage. So, for that, we need to program the microcontroller predefinedly. We need to check in the program when we short this, how much of voltage was occurred. Done. Okay, so V1, and when we short this, V2, when we short this, V3. So, right. For example, if you are getting the voltage between the V2 and V3, then the fault is going to be the location 2 and location 3 between that. So that is the proportionality will be there when we are implementing the same system in real time. So we have interfaced these switches to the microcontroller to the A0, A1, A2 pins here because from there we are going to read the analog voltages which is coming out from this sensing board. And based on that abnormality detected, then the system will display the so-called alert message on the LCD. And that LCD was connected pin number B2 to B7. And the buzzer also, which was connected at the C4 pin of our pic 16 f 72 microcontroller. So let us see the demonstration. Just on the power supply, 230 volts AC input to that. So as we discuss the power flow also, step down and rps 5 volt was given through this one so everything is normal there is no short circuit between, between the line to line so r y b so when this occurred r to y and next this is going to be the uh, y to b and b to r 
so as we discussed so it is going to be the 10 kilometers means from the receiving end there will be a fault at the 10 kilometers because of i am getting the voltage of when we add a resistance of 10 kilo ohm we got the voltage drop so that voltage drop will be identified as microcontroller and displayed on the lcd br fault at 10 kilometers so then the person can go there and rectify that same for y b 10 kilometers r y 10 kilometers right so right so sorry it's a r y b so it's a r phase y phase and b phase see if the fault occur like this so there you can see that message is r y at 30 uh, right r y at 30 kilometers and uh, y b at uh, 20 kilometers and uh, next b r at the 10 kilometers so if all occur at a time then the least voltage 30 kilometers was fault occurred when we repair that then we came to know that okay another fault also is there 20 kilometers 10 kilometers right So in this manner, based on the voltage drop principle, based on the wire length, uh, we will get the variable voltage. So predefinedly we need to check with the help of the multimeter or a microcontroller by measuring the voltages. So then we need to mention that particular voltage is in condition. If that particular voltage was dropped, then assumption there will be a fault at the so called kilometers.